Today I'm going to show you guys what we do with our wood stove and some of the new things that I'm learning about how to prepare food on a wood stove. Now there's a lot of information out there and a lot of variety of how people um, cook and how they bake. For us and for me, I'm learning this. This is a whole new way of lifestyle for me after two years being up here in this cabin off grid. We recently got a new wood stove here. This actually is our stove that is downstairs in the Arctic zone, as we've called it before. We had no heat down in this area. It's kind of like the playroom, the game room, we got laundry, and it's cold in, in the wintertime. It gets really, really chilly. So my husband put this wood stove in here. And the cool thing about it here, it's got a flat surface here, which for me, it works much better because I can put more than one pot, skillet, teapot, tray, um, upstairs, our stove has like a little bit of a like a little bit of a hill buckle. It's kind of weird. It's got this little like dip hill, which makes it really hard to um, to cook with. Um, and so right now, I am I just sprouted these buckwheat this buckwheat cereal. You can see that little sprouts have popped up, and I don't have a dehydrator anymore. <laughs> that sold. That was a plug-in. It was an Excalibur. So I'm trying to find creative ways I could still sprout my grains and things and make granola and cereal like I used to make in the Excalibur. Um, and this is one version I'm trying. Um, I know there's solar dehydrators that you can actually hang. Um, there's solar dehydrators you can actually hang from your wood stove or even outside. And the sun is intermittently. It's not happening all the time. It's just way too cold to dehydrate. So I'm using the wood stove, and I'm going to try to see if I can make it dehydrate, cook. It ain't going to be all raw because it's impossible. Um, but I'm going to see if I can try to get these kernels right here nice and toasty so that we can actually um, turn it into um, buckwheat cereal. I've also got my kettle on here for my tea. I'm going to move that back over here because it'll be a lot quicker to... And then I've also got um, a pot of water in here that we use to keep it nice and um, moist, so to speak. And sometimes I'll add oils in there to make it really pretty and smell. So, wood burning stove. It's a great way to cook. Um, we've made butternut squash. We've made um, burgers on it. Um, I've made the cereal on I'm hoping that this is going to really turn out nice. The only drawback I have with doing this is that I have to sit here and watch it because I know it cooks really quick. And I've got my daughter who's going to help me just kind of move this around a little bit so that it doesn't start to burn because it'll start to burn and it'll be like toasty cereal. I don't really want that. I want more of the um, dried buckwheat cereal. So, yeah, it's kind of fun. A new thing for us. I'm hoping to one day get a actual cook stove. That is a goal that I have of mine. Um, just have to wait. You know, all things just take time. And they take patience in living this type of buckwheat cereal is doing in the, in the videos to come. Stay tuned. Shut up. <laughs>